and uh, I'm starting with interrupts. By the way, what is an interrupt? <clears throat> G, what is an interrupt? Chapter number eight, the topic that I haven't covered are not going to come. Okay, uh, the topics that are covered are coming. Like what have we covered? We have covered encryption. Uh, sorry, we have covered security protocols, cookies, and uh, um, phishing farming, etc. This is what we have covered. We have covered DOS. We have covered free software, freeware, and shareware. These are going to come in your paper. Is this clear? Now let's move on to the chapter. Uh, what you need to uh, prepare. Actually, the, this chapter is composed of a few important part the first one is dealing with the operating system which you have learned in class ninth uh, and even i tried to, to revise it in my in my online class like in class 11th when we had re resumed in class 10th when i was conducting your session i've revised this topic then moving further uh, what else is important is the term buffer i hope that do you all know what is a buffer Yes, children, do you all know what is a buffer? G. G, Peter. Uh, I'm expecting the answers to come from those children who were away for the session, not from those who are actually uh, revising. I mean, that is going to be a little help for those children. But right now, I want the answers to come from those children who are were here. And uh, now I want them to either speak or write down the answer, please. I mean, I don't want the answers to come from the same children all the time. I'm not teaching them only. I'm teaching everyone. Uh, is a buffer normally in computers or is it in normally devices most of the time? Uh, temp it's a temporary storage area inside the devices, outside RAM. It can be in a computer in some scenarios as well, which is going to, uh, its job is just to uh, compensate the differences between the devices, the speed differences between, between devices. Like we have a printer buffer, we have a keyboard buffer. That is what is the idea behind buffers. Now moving further, now I have another term that is an interrupt. What is an interrupt basically? In real life also, what is interrupt? Uh, you people say that I'm not going to mute, uh, unmute myself because uh, uh, because of the lot of interruption happening in my in my room, which you think is the interruption. So that is basically an interrupt interrupt interruption. For example, uh, while teaching you people, my phone bell, uh, my phone rings. There's also an, an interrupt. So that is what an interrupt is. Yes, it is basically an interference in the job. So that is the an interrupt is a signal sent from a device or from software to the, now this is what you need to remember. You need to underline the definition. It's basically a, a signal sent from the device or from software. Now this is an, an important thing. An interrupt is not sent by the device only. It is sometimes sent by the software as well. And when, when it has either encountered a problem or it has finished the task. There are basically two things that you need to understand and remember. Uh, yes, actually, you correct Mushtaba that the interrupt will make the processor stop functioning temporarily and it will only resume its work once the interrupt is serviced, once the interrupt has been handled. Like, for example, if someone has um, written a question here, normally, if you have observed that I stop uh, for, for, for a moment, and it's because someone is either writing down a question, has written a question, or is writing uh, has written an answer. So I need time to either read the question or answer, read the answer. And for that, it is basically a sort of an interrupt in my in my uh, lecture, because that's what I need to take care of all the things. Even similarly, you may have observed in the beginning, those who were there from the beginning that uh, while teaching you people, I had uh, stopped for a time for, for a certain time period because of uh, admitting the students. And that was also an interrupt in that in, in, in scenario was also an interrupt because I, my services was to, were stopped for, for a moment. That is also an interrupt. Now, please remember two key terms. It is, divide, it is a 
generated from the device or it is generated from the software in two scenarios when it needs attention because of the problem or it uh, is telling that i have done the task now interrupts can occur when for example now there are four examples given here a device a disk drive is ready to receive more data that is also an interrupt because it is going to interrupt the processor to ask for more work like for example just like students when they are finished with their work they do say miss more questions are there any more that is again an interrupt from uh, from their end because then i'll be stopping my work and i'll be giving them more questions an error has occurred such as a paper jam in a printer that is a very uh, common interrupt because we encounter this thing happening people are not putting the papers in properly and sometimes the paper is jammed inside the printer the user has pressed a key to interrupt the procedure for example could be example could be pressing control alt break keys simultaneously again if you recall when we were learning do while in the beginning then we encountered some problems and then we finished our work completely but actually we could have done it in this manner okay we could have pressed control alt break and it will finish the procedure it will finish the process a software error has occurred an example of this would be if the file is if the exe file is not found that is also an, an interrupt but by the way one more example can be like for example i was installing some software so once the installation was completed uh is it the interrupt shown showing me that the wi file has uh, been installed or uh, the software has been installed that is basically an interrupt as well so this is what an interrupt as well so uh, i need to be aware of the software interrupt i need to be aware of the hardware interrupts and i need to understand ki what are the scenarios sometimes if the like for example if installation was going on installation was complete that is also shown to me that the installation complete that is also an interrupt because then again my uh, processor's attention will, will be diverted towards service in the interrupt is the term interrupt clear to every one of you yes or no i'm doing this uh, for the sake of revision this revision is done for everyone i mean uh, there was a uh, there was a constant uh, request coming from students and all the time came us do the revision like i was just getting this mess these messages uh, for the past 2 3 days so i hope that now everyone who is here especially the ones who were away for the cie are able to understand okay moving on uh, the other term which you need to understand is the interrupt handler I'll give, I'll give an example. Assume that I was listening to the song, and a phone call, a phone call came in. What will I be doing? Will I continue to listen to the song? Should I service the? Uh, should I listen to the uh, call? Definitely, I will. Uh, uh, basically, okay now. Abhi, I'm like your question will be answered. And now, looking here, for example, if I just say, okay. Um, Uh, I will. What will I? I'll do. I will stop listening to the song. Uh, it will actually interrupt on its own, and I will listen to the to the call. So once the call has been serviced, that was an interrupt. So the phone call after being serviced, it will uh, resume. My my mobile phone will resume playing the song that was played earlier. That is basically. Yes. Uh, okay. Now, thank you for uh, telling me, Mushtaba. Uh, basically there are certain interrupts that needs to be serviced immediately that need immediate attention and some some uh, some interrupts can be serviced later like the like talking about a real life scenario as well there are some questions that of the students that need to be answered immediately if i don't answer them i know that the situation will will uh, become very horrible but on the contrary there are some students whom i know if they are not serviced right now that's perfectly okay because i know the question that they are raising will be something that is dealing with the a uh, topic that i will be teaching next so for this scenario i can say, say just wait so actually again you have the definition say but not the terms if a if an interrupt is to can be delayed for a certain time period that is called my maskable one which is uh, maskable interrupts are delayed ones which can be delayed that need that do not need immediate attention but as far as non maskable are concerned they need they need immediate attention like they need to be serviced immediately that is what is the idea behind maskable and non maskable is this clear the words are not there but the definitions are there once the interrupt signal is received the processor either carries out what it was doing then that is basically my non maskable um, carries out like delayed one carry either carries on what it was doing 
or stops to service the interrupt. The device is the program that generates the interrupt. It means that this is my non-maskable one. I hope that this is clear to every one of you. Then this is what uh, I told extra thing to you all, not in the book, but still you need to be aware of. What is an interrupt handler? Basically, this is a routine that is handling the place where the interrupt had occurred. And once the interrupt is serviced, it is going to resume the work from the same point where the interrupt had occurred. That is what is mentioned here. I hope it's very much simple. Now, you can see interrupts allow computers to carry out many tasks or have several windows open at the same time. An example would be downloading a file from the internet at the same time as listening to the song. Whenever an interrupt is serviced, the status of the current task being run is saved. This is done using an interrupt handler. And once the interrupt has been fully serviced, the status of the current task is being reinstated and continues from the same point where it had occurred. So that is what is the idea behind interrupt handler. I'm just, I've just read from the book, but otherwise I was giving you the example of my uh, mobile phone, listening to the song. In the meantime, the, be the uh, bell rang and I immediately received the call and the song was stopped temporarily. So that the status of where, in which, pos at which, which position the interrupt had occurred was uh, stored by the interrupt handler. The word itself is very clear, I guess. You can understand from there. And 